Yeah. I think we'd need a lot of categories, basically. But I, I don't know, maybe that's fine, because... Maybe it's fine to have a lot of categories, like... We've got a lot of categories on speedrun.com. We've got a lot of categories on... Like, Mario Kart's got a lot of categories for speedrun. Shit, the Mario Kart, um... Mario Kart 64 and Mario Kart, uh... Ugh, Super Mario Kart. Uh... Yeah, they, they're split by NTSC and PAL. And... Mario Kart Double Dash is split by 50Hz versus 60Hz monitor settings. Yeah, I mean, I so I would care about single stages more in an on in an overall because I kind of know I'm not going to get a world record, but I like to see that average number go up. I I tend to get a so I can't get a PB and then regrind. That's the thing. I get a PB and I'm like, yeah, that's fine, you know, unless I've set myself a goal or something. Which Mario for Mario Kart, I like set myself a goal of. Uh, the only time I can do it tends to be in like Xenotic, it's weird. But um, unless I've set myself a goal of like the standards times, in which case, yeah, obviously I can just bop it. But the categories. Like, we'd have... I think... Honestly, it's just the Rally DB. You have to make up your own fucking categories, don't you? Because there's so many options you can choose from. Like, Finland, but only in Group 2 cars. Or Finland in all directions, in all categories, but not the bonus ones. Or Finland, but only in the bonus ones. But... Like, how do we make that something people are actually going to do. Like, that seems basically just like a huge pain in the ass To, to kind of make an actual leaderboard out of it. To, to compare versus other people, easy. You know? For me to say, right, I'm going to be better than you at Finland. Piece of piss. Shit. That has not gone well. No, because you've got Rally UI, haven't you? Installing Python is the problem. But that's a packaging issue we can work on. Or you rewrite it in Rust and uh, compile for Windows. Yeah, most people use Windows, that's our problem. We, me and Felix both use Linux, and we made a script for a different game 
to calculate your total time across over a thousand, 1920 tracks and categories. Like, you think Mario Kart 8's got uh, a lot these days. But, yeah, we, um, we then realised that if we wanted anyone else to use it, a Python terminal program that runs technically only on a specific version of Python, or and up, but, you know, you can't rely on some people to not install some dumbass version of Python from somewhere. Oh, nice. Oh shit, yeah, you have to manually specify. Speaking of manually specifying the path, I was pissed off because I thought I had to have all my Doom... I couldn't work out how to link my Doom folder uh, to my... to out of my route, because my route's kind of getting full and I don't need shitloads of Doom wads in there. Uh, turns out I could just change the path that my Doom things point to by putting it in my bash RC. Would that work? I mean you'd still have to get them to install Python wouldn't you? But would it work? Imagine if we just rewrote it in JavaScript and boom, now it's a web app. Log on to browser. I've lapped way more people on this one. I love how this has happened three runs in a row, that one of the a heavy AI has been my rival, they've shot off at the start of this track, uh, and then missed all the coins so I still get a full coin set. It's been great, and they haven't really bumped into me at all, which is nice. Very nice of them. That was fucking fast. Go oh, damn. I think I'm going back to old strats on here.
Oh, the cones on the Wii. I've been absolutely sent by those cones. They stop you dead in your tracks while you're time trialling. Absolutely brutal things those cones are. Fuck you, you bitch! Absolutely fucking ridiculous. Come on, we're playing fucking no items to not have to deal with the AI's bullshit. Not to get knobbed off by one of them last lap. Oh, I could have beaten that fucking... I could have beaten that cycle. Oh yeah, the cut that forks off. I forgot that e I forget that even exists. I can see what they were going for with that cut though. Because Oh you bastard. I've never done that before. Um yeah, I can see what they were going for. Like, if you look at Delfino Square on the DS, it's faster to go on the wiggly bit rather than the straight bit. Shit, I've gone the wrong way. Hey, here we go. Oh yeah, any any time you're playing on the Wii, there will be huge cuts. It's just a known fact of the Wii. You bastard! How am I hitting these ghosts? I've literally never hit these ghosts before. I don't think. Like I don't remember ever hitting those ghosts. Chaos. Absolute chaos. I was going to play Wii. I ended up... I can't remember what my reason for ending up on 8 was. I think potentially because I had it plugged in. No items in 8 is more fun. Like I don't... You don't want to play... So Wii's a bit of a pain in the ass for the speedrun categories because there is no no items category. You can play whatever the hell you want. Which means strategic items is fastest if you're willing to get the RNG for it. Um, no items is what most people play. But no items is boring because there's no coins. It's just... Just pure time trial lines. Like, coins are phenomenal. The actual item coin sucks, but... It's just boring to get. But coins on the ground that force you to take a wide line to go faster and then you have to toss up whether it's worth going for coins or not. Phenomenal. Especially for actual play rather than time trials. Time trials obviously if you fuck it up you're just going back again. But for actual play... Yeah, it's a good boo defense, but imagine if you just had two items. What, you know, what if just had two items? Because I actually watched a video yesterday about the fake item box and how that's 
a way better version of the coin because it can't be used to block things. Um, like uh, shells and stuff. You can use it instead. You actually use it because you need to get rid of it to be able to pick something else up. Whereas the coin, you just hold on to it. And now you've got a coin. I remember when I was first playing this game, I, in speedrunning it, I read on the wiki that um, the coin item gives you a speed boost. And it was badly written because... What they meant was that coins up to 10, you know, make you faster. That's what the coins are for. They make you faster when you collect more of them. How it read on the wiki was that the actual item itself that you pick up from an item box, when used, would give you a speed boost. When you actually use the item, which as far as I'm aware, it doesn't. It's, to be fair, it's not a small amount of speed boost, apparently. It's, um, it's, it's two and a half or three or something bars, like, little segments of the bar in the stats menu. Oh, you bitch. Yeah, like, it actually gives you a huge amount of speed. Which is why it's really interesting the maps where you don't pick up uh, all of the coins in time trials. Like, the ones where you only get six or seven, there's a couple of them. They're really interesting because they're... Um, you know, people have considered it, timed it. It's definitely been looked into by now at this point in the game's life. And they've decided it's, wor it's worth sacrificing the speed for three laps rather than going wide for coins. It's usually worth doing it in, in speedrun, because the item, the coins respawn. But, uh... In time trial, it can be not worth going for coins sometimes, because they don't respawn, so... If they're not online... Baby Park has coins. I think you're thinking of uh, Mute City. And Big Blue. Because, yeah, not having a coin apparently crashes the game. And... Um, those ones have the coin... Like, panels rather than actual coins. Oh, on TT. That's interesting. Only specifically that map, rather than just having one. Yeah. Yeah, there's one out of bounds on Mute City and Big Blue. The Big Blue one is uh, way the fuck off in the distance. 
but the Mute City one's actually um, gettable to if you've got no clip. Like you can, you don't need anything other than no clip. You just need to drift at an edge and launch it with no clip, apparently. Because I saw a video of getting every coin in Mario Kart 8, and it was rather interesting. Because there are some tracks where it's not possible, because you can only go back a certain number of times. Then you've got things where you, or you can like only do it three laps, and you can't turn around and go backwards to retake a glider or something. Tour tracks? There were tour tracks in it. I haven't even played the tour tracks. I don't have the DLC. I've just decided, like, I was perfectly happy without the DLC. Uh, at the end of this track, there is going to be some glitchy shit. Just a warning, as we come into the the middle of lap 3, the screen is going to go very funny and glitchy, and I don't know why still. It has been three years, and it happens on two capture cards, and on two computers. Oh yeah, I know you can do it if someone has a Froom and they have the DLC, but... And I think you can get them online as well, can't you, without... Wait, it's only me? Oh, fuck off. Now, watch the screen at the bottom of this track. And this doesn't come up on my actual playing screen, this is only in OBS. Right there as we exit, and then after crossing the finish line, and I don't understand it. It only happens with my capture card. And, uh, but also my other capture card. <laughs> I've never seen anyone else have this problem. And it happens on time trials, and it happens on this track and Waluigi Stadium. Not Wal uh, Wario Stadium, the DS retro track. Not the cable, because uh, the, so... I've tried different HDMI cards, but also it can't be the cable because the capture card goes into the TV and it doesn't show up on my TV. So it can't be the HDMI because otherwise it would pass it through. It can't be the cable because... Um, can't be the USB cable because the capture card I'm currently using has a built-in USB cable and the other capture card doesn't have a built-in USB cable. So it uses its own USB cable, so it's definitely not that. They're both like cheap Chinese eBay special capture cards, so they're probably running the same hardware and firmware, they're about the same size. I, like Honestly the only difference between them is one of them has an output cable and in exactly the same place the other one has a hardwired output cable. <laughs> 
Like one has a port for a plug to for a USB stick to go in. Well, not USB USB cable. It is very strange. It is very strange. And it happens, it's not OBS doing it because if I open this capture source in VLC instead of uh, OBS, it also breaks. And it's, yeah, the same spot in game. The only thing I can think of. But it, it, no, it shouldn't be that because there's other tracks that do it. But the only thing I can think of is that it's when you go to the cameras. Like, you know, you can see the the cameras on the thing. It shouldn't be an out-of-date package because it's been happening for three years. Um, and I use Arch, by the way. So it really shouldn't be an out-of-date package or a, a... It shouldn't be a software thing. Like, OS side that I can actually update because, yeah, it's been happening for such a fucking long time. It's just weird. And I don't understand it. I'm just glad it doesn't come through on the actual um, playing thing, though, to be fair. Because that would be difficult. I mean, it's a simple part on this one, but it's a really technical part on... Uh, on Wario Stadium. My nose has just got really itchy and I have a lap left of one of the hardest tracks in the game. This sucks. Ah oh, shit. Okay, at least I could uh, scratch my nose. This track is a ball ache. Um, no, it's a, just a pass through. So... Yeah, you can't be itchy, you bastard. So, it just it, uh, Capture Card basically just comes up as a... I saved time there. Shit, that was bad. Um, a Capture Card basically just comes up as... Uh, a webcam. It's the same as a webcam. So I always, I've managed to get it fixed at the minute, but I constantly have issues, especially when I stop playing capture carded games for a while and play, you know, just PC. Uh, that my webcam and capture card, fuck off, my webcam and capture card switch places. So I load up to like show myself, and it's like, here's your switch, or I load. Like, when I went to set this scene up again, check it was all working the other day, open up the stream, open up the scene, and there's my ugly mug on the screen. Like, hello. <laughs> Webcam's working there. Where's my capture card, you bastard? Ah, oh, shit. Run might be dead. Run might be dead. I think unfortunately I am now out of the de-rust stage of uh, speedrunning and I'm now into the need to actually ooh, shit. need to actually practice the uh, practice certain tracks and learn new strategies. Shit. trouble is what to practice like do I practice the late the late tracks where I can fuck up a good run like this and just let myself practice the early tracks I think it's probably better for me to practice the early tracks and learn strategies on them even if it kills runs because learning learning the actual routes and then I could just batter it in with repeated attempts while I'm killing runs at the end <laughs> 
Probably. What's this? Uh, this? This is shit gameplay, this is. Because I'd probably just be playing, like if I was doing Bowser's Castle, Rainbow Road, Dry Dry Desert, not Dry Dry Desert, um, Dry Bones Dunes. If I was doing those, I'd probably just be playing them to get consistent at them, so I don't fuck up runs at the end. Not to try and learn six strats. Whereas I might as well try and learn some six strats from the early tracks, and then just like get massive time save from those and then take it easy towards the end. I think this is my favourite speedrun Rainbow Road out of the games that I've played. So we is an absolute ball ache to come into Rainbow Road because it's a difficult one, same as DS. It's a difficult Rainbow Road, especially with items on. In DS you can't turn them off. Um, seven, because it's three se- ah oh shit. God damn it. Because it's three segments, seven I haven't actually speed run 7 like as a full game, but because it's three segments I know that it will be more difficult to remember. That was a... gold? Jesus Christ. Imagine if I hadn't fallen off about four fucking times. Oh well. 